I look so good, like, I look good. I just need to comb my hair. Action, action, action. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I achieve my DIY eyelash extensions or individuals, however you want to call it. I say extensions because I'm using the extensions hair, but I'm not using the extensions technique. So I'm not applying the lashes on my actual hair, hair by hair. It, it's, this is all going to be confusing. This is all going to be hard to explain. So bear with me throughout this whole video because... I ain't gonna even be able to show you good because I'm gonna have to be in my mirror like, dude, trying to show y'all. So <laughs> bear with me. But um, before we get started, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Just pause the video now and just press subscribe. You ain't even gotta pause the video. Just go do subscribe to my channel um, and like this video. Give me a thumbs up already because you know this video about to be fire. So give me, give me a thumbs up. And now that you're a part of the family, let's get started. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is a mirror. I, I would say get you a good mirror that you could get real close because you need to see. Get you a good mirror. Um, also, next thing, you will need some tweezers. So I got these tweezers. These are just regular tweezers. These are not the tweezers that extend further out. I never use those, just use whatever you can. Whatever you feel comfortable with, that's what you can use. And next up is hair glue. We all know this ain't good. Electric chair. This ain't good, this ain't good. I already know, but I find so far that this has lasted me and my individuals a whole lot longer than my lash glue that I use. I normally use the, the Duo um, green bottle. I'm gonna put a picture up somewhere, but um, I normally use that lash glue and I tried it the first time and it didn't last long when I woke up, I ain't had no more lashes. So I used this and this kind of lasted me. Mind you, these lashes won't stay on as long as you think because it, it just depends on how you sleep. Like I can't really say, oh, how long they gonna last for or whatever like that. So it depends on how you sleep, but I am using hair glue and I know this is not good for me, but it is what it is. You feel me? Excuse the packaging because I've been rolling with her. Lastly, you want to use your eyelashes. This is the brand that I first tried and this is how it looks. These are all the hairs. I'm going to get in close. So you see. Yeah, so I'm going to have everything that you need and everything that I use listed down below in the description box for you guys. And I'm going to also have the type of lashes that I use down below the whole everything, the specifics and everything of these lashes. I'm using the 18mm millimeter, whichever. And I'm also going to be using the D curl. I have here the double D curl in 0.05. I like to go from the 0.05 to 0.07. It's up to you and how long and curly you want them. I'm going to start by applying my lash glue to my tray. One of the hardest things to do is to grab the hair off the tray. Like once you get yours in and you realize what I'm talking about, you're going to like understand. But like it's hard grabbing the hairs off the tree. That's probably the hardest part for me. Applying them isn't hard. If you've done eyelashes on yourself or even individuals on yourself already, you're going to be able to do this. If your your eyes is like real twitchy and you can't get stuff too close to your eyes, this not going to be for you. I'm sorry because I literally have to get real close to my eye. So I have my glue already on my tray. And I'm going to try and take a lash off and show you guys how I do that. So you just want to take your lash and take it just like that. This is the lash. I'm going to place it here. Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. So this is my lash. This is how it looks. You can make yours as big or as small as you want it. I don't know. I just try to grab. If I get a big chunk, I get a big chunk. If I don't, I don't. Like, it's okay. Then I'm going to dip my lash in the glue. Not a lot, but like just making sure you coating it. I like to position my hand correctly. Lift my eye up. I hope y'all can see this. Lift my eye up just to make sure like I'm getting inside. So like I have lashes and then I have like my waterline and then I have my eye 
You want to make sure you're getting it on the waterline, like right above the waterline. So you lift your eye up. And then you place it right underneath your lashes. And boom, it's on. You can't really see that one hair probably, but that's how it is. The less chunks you use, the better I think it'll look. It's just, it just depends on what look you're going for. So I do it again. I dip my hair. I get my hands situated and like make sure the lash is on there right. I lift my eye up and I place it right next to the other one. And I use my tweezers to move the lash around because sometimes they'll twirl around on you. So boom, that's two lashes. I like to start in the middle and work my way to the outer corner and then work my way to the inner corner. Your inner corner is like the most sensitive in, on your eyes. So it's smarter to me to start from the outer and make sure this is nice and full and then gradually get to the inner because you don't want your eyes to be running. You don't want your eyes to be watery or anything like that while doing this because they won't stick. Make sure your tweezers are in the right position. Also make sure they're not sticky. Like you might want to grab a napkin or something just to keep wiping your lash, your tweezers off. So now it's in the right position on my tweezers. Lift my eye up and then place the lash. Once you got that first lash or first two lashes down where you need them to go, it'll make it easier to, to it like it makes it easier for you to place the other ones because you kind of got where it's gonna go. Excuse me if I don't apply these lashes in the neatest way. I'm doing it on myself. So, you know, if I was doing this on someone else, it'd be easier and way more neater. But, so lift your eye up one more time, making sure you can see the inside of your eye pretty much. Place your, place your lash right where the other ones are. And then make sure you, using your tweezers, make sure they are nice and together. This one is just bothering me. Dang, girl. Hold up. Sometimes I have to pull them off. Like if they didn't lay right, I pull it off and I just re-glue it. I pull some of the, the glue off the tip of it. Like grab the hairs, pull some of the tip the glue off, and then I re-dip glue it. This is very tedious. Once again, you take as big or as small as, as lashes as you want. This one's going to be a big one. I kind of just go by what come off, honestly. And then you situate your hand and your tweezers to make sure it's going in the right direction. You want to lift your eye up. These ones is kind of going crazy already. You want to lift your eye up. Lift your eye up and place it right above your waterline. And then also use your tweezers to make sure it's going in the right direction and that they're lifted. You don't want them to be saggy. Try to keep them as high and lifted up as you can because once they all get on there, then they're going to be drooping down and it's just that's just not cute. So, and once you get your lashes and you try this, you're going to know, like, this is trial and error, and you're not going to always get it right, and it's not going to be perfect, but you can keep doing it. And once you apply them all, you're going to want to keep doing it because it's going to be so cute. So, that's what my eye looking like so far. Like I said, it's going to be messy. Like, as you see, it's, like, not nice it's not neat but it's it's getting there i see the vision so the bigger the clusters i feel like the bigger the clusters the faster you'll get done 
but the bigger the clusters, the faster your lashes will come off because when one cluster fall off, that's like majority of your eye. You get what I'm saying? So try not to do as big clusters, but I mean, hey, if a big cluster come off, I just be putting it on. Make sure they are facing upward. Lift your eye. I hope y'all can see this. And place it right on your waterline. See, it's already getting cute. Like, I already feel cute. Like, I feel like I'm doing something. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie. I do like to do big clusters. But I do be sad when they come off and as big clusters. Looking good. Looking good. Dip your lash and apply it here. I ain't gonna lie though, it doesn't, I feel like for me, this doesn't last that long. I know some, I, I know I watched some videos and some girls were saying it'll last them like a week. It doesn't last me that long. I don't know why. I got to keep practicing. But my eyes are like low-key watery. I like go to sleep at night. My eyes be watering. And when I wake up, my lashes be gone. So <laughs> I be finding lashes on my pillow, in my bed, like everywhere. So... It also, to me, it depends on how you sleep in order for them to, like, stay. The one thing I like about these trays is that it doesn't take that many hairs to get the look that you want. So, like, you could probably use this tray, like, three, four times before you have to buy more. And when you grabbing your hairs, make sure that all of them are even and together. Like you don't want no hair sticking out longer, sticking out short like that. You want them to be all together so they can lay on your eye nice and together. So lift up your eye and put it on your waterline. Then twist it around. Sometimes you gotta take your hand and, and just lift it, push them up you so they could lay upward see what I'm looking like this hair glue does dry pretty quick so that's something good to know that it dries down pretty quick so but you do have to work fast and now I'm just filling in like some sparse spots that I see before I start working my way to the front just to make sure I got everything in the back pretty good basically so like if you see some holes that you might be missing you could just go on and fill those in as well just so it won't look strange wait you see this is why you gotta fix your, your tweezers take this lift your eye up like, uh oh, see, you gotta be careful because it will fall. This is real tedious, but it looks good in the end. This one tray is like nine dollars, and that's not bad. That's not bad at all to say how many sets you can get out of it. It is not bad at all. That's my personal opinion. My hand is not that steady, but you definitely need a steady hand. What I was explaining in the beginning was I consider these as like extensions because of the hairs that I'm using. I'm not using like regular like Ardell Wispies, you know what I'm saying? Like these not that. These is curl by curl, hair by hair, and it looks like, like it looks like literally like lash extensions hairs this is what we looking like it is lash extension hair it's just not the technique of a lash extension application if you get what i'm saying 
I love that for me. I could wake up in the morning and feel kind of cute with my lashes. And anytime, if I, if I lose a hair or two, or if it's starting to look a little strange, I can go and apply them, apply more myself without trying to, like, have to book another appointment to the lash girl, your lash tech, you know, yada, yada, yada. Don't get me wrong. I love going and get my lashes done from the lash tech people, but it's, you know, you know, it's something about doing stuff like this yourself, you know, I don't know. It's just something about it. You see, like, sometimes they go crazy and they do what they want to do. So you just got to be mindful and try to play some as neat as you can. It's not going to be the neatest. And don't, like, knock yourself for your first time because it's not easy. This isn't easy. You not you ain't going to see nothing easy in my title. I'm not going to trick y'all and be like, easy DIY. No, baby, this ain't easy. But it's doable. I'm going to be so mad if I look back at this footage and y'all didn't see nothing I was doing. <laughs> I'm going to be salty. But this, to me, it is hard to explain. I would just say, honestly, like, what I'm saying, you will understand it once you're actually doing it. Because if you're not actually doing it, you're going to be like, what are you saying? But when you're actually doing it, you're going to be like, okay, I know what she's talking about. I can feel it. I can see it. So this is what my eyes looking like so far. You can add more. You can stop here. You can keep going, like... I'm going to keep going because I like mine a little more thick. Like, I want to put them in the inner corner a little more. For me, I think the inner corner is the most challenging part. Like, one time I put them on, and that time I put them way too close to my inner corner. Girl, that whole inner corner came up. I took it all off because I just couldn't handle it. So, yeah, try your best not to place it so close. And when you close your eye, you shouldn't feel it. Like, you shouldn't feel these lashes on at all. And now I'm just going to kind of fill in if, as much as I need to. But this is pretty much how it's going to look. This is pretty much how I like to do mine. I, like I said, I'm going to add more to it. But I'm going to come back on camera and show you guys how they both look together. And I'll see y'all when both eyes are done. This is how they look. They look so good, um, especially for me doing it. They look good. It was really easy, fairly easy. It doesn't take that long. Make sure they're dry before you start brushing at them. If you want to brush at them, I really don't brush at mine because... I don't know. I'd be nervous. <laughs> if y'all try it, let me know in the comments. Also, if y'all find a different glue that we can use that's not going to burn our eye and that's going to last, let me know because I don't want to use no hair glue and I ain't trying to use no hair glue. Let me know if you think this was very helpful. I hope it was very helpful. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification button so that way y'all could be notified when I do post something. I know when you subscribe, it doesn't automatically do it. You have to like do it yourself. So don't forget to do that. Share this video and I hope to see you guys on my next one. Bye. Mwah.